Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So I'm coming on guys because it is Wednesday and it's around 6.05 and I'm making dinner. I wasn't sure what I was making. I was kind of hanging out on the chair thinking, oh, well, I don't, really don't feel like cooking and everything. And then I'm like, you know what? Let me, let me, let me cook something. <laughs> you know what I mean? We got to eat, I guess. Um, so I'm making homemade macaroni and cheese at Jenny's request. And I'm making um, hot dogs, I guess, so they make like chili, chili cheese dogs. So that's what I'm doing. So right now I'm boiling. I have the pot up for the elbows. Um, and I'm going to put, um, I have this cheese that I'm going to add to it. And I'm going to also make, make like a, you know, um, make a cheese sauce because this isn't going to be enough. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to wait until, um... The pasta is done. I'm going to get the hot dogs going. Oh, and I'm, I'm going to put bacon in it. So I'm, what I'm going to do is... Put, I've been making the bacon quickly for Jenny in the morning in the microwave. It's very, very quick. It's just, it's just as good. So I think I'm, I'm going to do that tonight. I don't feel like messing up anything else. So I'm just going to make some bacon in the microwave. And I'm going to put it in her bowl and my bowl or whatever. Because I, I don't put it in the whole thing because uh, Frankie doesn't... He's not crazy about bacon. Which I can't believe. Get the bacon out. Okay, I used it earlier. Um. All right, um, let me think about what I'm going to have, where I'm going to, trying to think. Um, oh, the water's boiling quickly. So, I have elbows. I'm not going to make an enormous amount because it's just, it's just rotten there. Jenny will eat it a couple of times during, you know, a couple of times the rest of the week. But still, I don't want to make a lot. I'm going to get a of pan. I made a little bit more than a half a pound, but well, what are you going to do? Let me go on the back and get um, the chili. Well, 
I have regular half and half, not that much, and I have whole milk, so I guess I'll have to use this too. The fat free, I didn't realize I bought fat free. It's not good. All right. That's all right. That's okay. Oh, I gotta mix these noodles, otherwise they're gonna stick. I don't even know how long they're supposed to cook for. I think like 10 minutes. Alexa, set the timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. All right, uh, let's put you down here. What I'm gonna do is, I guess these are microwave safe, right? Are they? Dishwasher safe, microwave safe, yes. Okay, good. These are my new plates. So excited. do with bacon is this. I cut it in half this morning. So this is how I do it. I layer it. next to each other. And you gotta cook bacon in the microwave, in my opinion, and what I do, is like a minute or two at a time. Because if you make it, if you cook it more, longer, if you leave it in there at a longer time, it, um, it, it burns and it overcooks and it's awful. So I do it like 60 seconds and then I'll do like another 40 seconds. make some extra because I'm going to make a couple of sandwiches up from egg sandwiches up for Jen because she's been wanting egg sandwiches in the morning and she always tells me like you know 10 minutes before she's supposed to leave that she's hungry I ask her and she's like no I don't want anything and then all of a sudden she's like yeah mom I'll have an egg sandwich really all right so I'm just gonna do that I'll make this right now and then what you do is you cover it okay so I'm going to start out at like 60 seconds. Well, probably, yeah, 60 seconds. Maybe a little bit longer. 120. Because um, there's a lot of beef in there. All right. Um, let's get some more of this stuff here. Get this open. This over here. This over here. I got a big can of freaking chili. I don't think I have a smaller one. We'll have to do something else with this, like make chili dip or something. Chili cheese dip. Oh, yeah. I'm probably going to make some more bacon, so I'll just keep this over here. I'm trying to drink, guys, because I told you I was kind of, I was um, definitely dehydrated the other day. I left check it. So I'm going to put it on for another 50 seconds. 50 seconds. It's definitely not done. 
Um, we got hot dogs here. I had hot dogs in the freezer, the Sabret ones. I had bought a big package. So I'm gonna put Frankie wants, I think three. I don't think he's having mac and cheese, I don't know. I'm just gonna have one. I'll make Jenny two, I think she'll have two. Now what I do is because they're frozen, I'm gonna put them in a little bit of water and let them just, you know, simmer a couple of minutes to get a little soft. And then at the end, I'll take Jenny's out and I'll leave mine and Frankie's in because we like them a little crisp. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I don't know, I, feel, I kind of feel like a vegetable. I don't know what to go. I have corn on the cob, but I don't think I wanna make on the cob with this meal. I think tomorrow night I'll make corn on the cob. Maybe I'll make chicken tomorrow night. And uh, I'll make corn on the cob tomorrow night. I gotta see what that's. Oh, I think I have string beans in there. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Another 40 seconds. Let's see here. Um, I really gotta step, I really gotta start the, um, the cheese sauce. But I think I'm gonna wait till the macaroni is done. Uh, I'm just trying to get my bearings. I got shredded cheese. I got that other liquid cheese. All right, let's check this out. Mm. Now, you gotta make the bacon as, as how you like it, guys. We like it on the, you know, not like burnt, but not raw and not, a, yeah, on the, on the crispier side. So this is definitely not done yet. Definitely not done. All right. I'm gonna wait for these elbows to be done, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the um, I'm gonna make the cheese sauce in that in this pot right here. Put on dirty fifteen thousand pots and. I showed you guys, I got these at um, the Dollar Tree the other day on my, in my, on my hall, my Dollar Tree hall. Oh my God, they're so good. The Mambos, oh, I love them. I love them. But I really shouldn't be eating too many of them. Because they're not good. All right, let's, let's check it. Nope. Another minute. Another few minutes. Chili. I'm just gonna heat up in the microwave. Frankie, um, 
has it. So I'll put this over here because that's going to go in the microwave. I'm going to check that bacon. Let's check the bacon. I think those flowers are dead over there. Alexa, stop. Get another 40 seconds, I'll try. But I don't want it to burn. If I if sometimes I overcook it, I put it in for another and I'm like, oh Jesus, you know. Do you think these are dead? Wait. What do you think? They smell, they still, they still smell good, but yeah, they're definitely, they're definitely done for. They still smell really pretty. They're so pretty. Mm. Mm. All right, I think the bacon's done now. I think so. Let's check this. The macaroni isn't done yet. Yeah, I'm going to do a few more. Because like I said, I'm going to make Jenny some egg sandwiches. i got to see how many rolls I have. I'm 
I'm going to heat up um, the chili a little bit first. I still got to make the... I'm that? doing good, honey. I'm doing good. Yeah, I did almost trip. I literally almost tripped over my own two feet. Guys, I'm telling you. I literally just almost tripped. Because my foot got stuck in my in the other... I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it's just... It's just typical Linda stuff. All right, let's check the Mac. Let's check the, um, the elbows. Ow. Kind of hot. Another minute. Another minute. Um... Almost done. We're gonna shut the um, the hot dogs off in a minute, and then um, let them sit. And then I'm gonna cook um, the other. I'm gonna take Jenny's out. You know what I mean? And uh, but now I have to. Um, I have to do the uh, the cheese sauce. So. Bacon, 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 bacon. Yummy. That's why I'm eating it. All right, let's check the pasta again. the water right now is evaporating in here anyway so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this move it over and put this here because I'll just wait a couple minutes before I put that on let me just look at the bacon All right, guys. Now this is gonna be really hot because the, the pot is hot already. So, which is perfect. So. Stick of butter. This is not a diet meal. Okay, this is macaroni and cheese. Yes, it is. Um, flour. Now, I don't want 
just to burn. I really don't, I really think I'm gonna put it on this lower flame here. Just to be safe. Butter's melted. I have no clue how much is in here. No clue. I just look at the consistency of it. I think that's good. I think that's a really good consistency. So let's just let the um, the flour, you know, burn off a little bit. Let the flour cook because you don't want raw flour. And I'm gonna leave that bacon for a minute because I'm pretty sure it's done. And I'll put the chili sauce in in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to once this is ready, you want to make sure you let the flour uh, cook. At, you know, the flour cook a little bit because otherwise you'll have that raw flour taste. You don't want that. Just keep mixing it so you don't have lumps, and then just add. Start adding your your cream a little bit, whatever you're using. I think I'm going to put some whole milk because uh, I don't really like the fact that I have fat free half and half and the, and the fat that's where it's supposed to, that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to have the fat in there. All right, so let's see. Let's let this come to a boil and see how it thickens and if it needs something else. I'm gonna put it a little bit higher on here because it's a little low. even freaking boiling come on now come on now I think I'm gonna have to put it back on the other flame now I don't think it's gonna work on this flame now guys I can be a little dangerous in the kitchen I really can I, I fully admit it all right that bacon's done Let's let this come up to a boil So we're going to leave this bacon to the side. Come on. Oh, it's a little bit thick, yeah. I think it might need a little bit more milk. A little bit of salt. Pepper. You know what I like to put in my um. Oh, 
where is it? Is it here? I just used it today. Oh, I think I put it on the bottom. Yeah, I did. I made pickles today, guys. And I don't always show you pickles because I've shown you pickles a lot of times. And I just made them today. Where is the Gatsy thing? I just had it. Oh, my God in heaven. Just literally had it. Here it is. All right. A little bit of um, ground mustard. I like to put in my mac and cheese. Yeah. I think that's going to be good. Let it come up to a simmer again, and then we'll put it in the. Um, We'll put the cheese in, guys. Let me get some garlic powder. And yes, I put garlic powder and onion powder in my mac and cheese because that's my flavors and it just flavors everything up. And some paprika. Where is it? Oh, paprika. God almighty. much in here. Alright. Alright, so let's start getting the cheese in. I'm going to put the shredded cheese in first. Everything's good here, right? Yeah, I just want to make sure because that would happen to me. Now I'm using the shredded cheese because that's what I had, because I bought it. Um, if you saw my haul the other day, I bought it because it was a better buy. And I was trying to save as much and, you know, whatever. So I normally like to buy the block cheese because I, I usually go to Walmart or Aldi or whatever. I don't usually go to ShopRite and do my shopping, but I did this week. I did this week and ShopRite's more expensive. So I was looking at the... Looking at the best buys. I always heard to make a figure eight, to do a figure eight. That's what I've always heard, and I've always done it, but sometimes I don't do it. Okay. I'm going to put, where is it? The Velveeta sauce in here. Just one packet is what I have. I get this in the Dollar 25 tree. They have the jalapeno one and they have the original. I want it smooth, guys. We gotta taste it. A little bit more salt and pepper.
That's really good. Really good. I'm shutting the heat off. I am going to add it just a drop more milk. I really like that mustard. That little hint of, of the mustard. Dry mustard. It's good. And then we'll put the, uh, the elbows in here. Mm -mm -mm. Sometimes I bake it, but I use, lately I've been making, when I make it, I've been making it, what the heck? I've been making it on the stove, just like, like the Velveeta box, you know? It's just easier and... We like it like that. All right. So that's some yummy cheese sauce. Let me get the, let me get the elbows. And then I'll put the chili back in. Um. like three quarters of a pound I would say a little it was more than half definitely okay. I'm just seasoning the elbows a little bit gotta season everything guys gotta mmm okay. Yummo. Now, if I want, I could still add a little bit of more milk if I want, but I'm going to see how it looks. Sometimes I put a little grated cheese, also grated parm in my, um, I'm going to taste it and see if it needs anything. If it does, I'll put a little grated parm in it. I like it in there. Sometimes it just gives it a little kick or, you know, it gives it a little something extra, extra. is a workout. All right, let me get a spoon. Where's their spoon? It's so good, but it definitely needs some grated cheese. It needs some grated corn. And I think it needs a little bit more salt. That's just me. And more pepper. All right, guys, let's taste it now. Let's taste it again and see what we think if it's good. some uh, mustard powder in it. I think 
it's raining. It's raining. Almost ready. All right, so I'm gonna cut Jenny's hot dog up. She's gonna have it without a roll. I'm just cutting him up for her because she needs to be cut up. I'm gonna cut up another one. Shouldn't be cutting out of my plastic, really. That's stupid. I don't want to scratch it all up. All right. This is how I do it, right? This is how we do it. Put a little cheese on the bottom. Put a little chili on the top. Squeeze the wiener in there. I'm gonna put this in the microwave for like 25 seconds. Jen, see if you need any water. Then we'll give her some, we'll put some bacon in hers. You don't want to dip your hot dog in anything, do you? What? Do you want to dip your hot dog in anything? Because uh, you have cheese and chili on it. I want cheese and chili. Right, that, yeah, that's on it. And, uh, you can have, like, mayonnaise or something. No, I don't think you should have any of that with it. Why? Because it's heavy. Okay. Can I have mac and cheese? Yeah. Mac and cheese is heavy enough. Here it is, guys. Here's Jenny's plate. All right, come in and get it. Oh, man. Holy crap, that's a huge plate. I thought you could plate. I have this plate. I have this plate. I have this plate. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of this water out of here. Can you help me pull the table off? Ah, Jen, take your water off and try, okay? I'll be I'll be there in a second. Oh, you, you need to try. I said I will wait. Oh, Lord help me. 
So I just add a little piece of butter to that, guys. And um, let that pan, let it, let the hot dogs get a little crisp. And you know, butter makes everything better. Quite, quite cheesy, guys. Quite cheesy. All right, let's put these hot dogs back. Um, yeah, so we're doing good. We're doing good. I'm a meanie head. I'm a meanie mom because I make her do it herself. Sometimes you are. She's going to have to do everything soon. Why is this food so small? Because that's what I gave you, Jen. Thank you for the mac and cheese. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Alright, um, I didn't make any vegetable. Yeah, in a minute. Come in here. In a minute. You know, I made this bruschetta when I made the bruschetta pasta for Italian Sunday, and I haven't even eaten it yet. So I'm going to have a little bit of this. I'm going to use a paper dish. I, no, I'm going to use one of my yellow dishes. I'm going to use yellow dishes. Mix them off first. for the dogs to get a little crispy. Guys, that's it, really. That's what it's going to consist of right now. That is what it's going to consist of. Because if I take any more than that, I'm going to be in big trouble. Um... I'm going to put a little bit of... Let me show you something. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in here. Come in. I didn't, I didn't dress this yet. And I'm going to put a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Hey, Jen. I should only have a little bit of this too because I don't know why it gave me the D word. So hopefully it won't this time. We'll see. We'll see. You can never tell with this freaking sleeve. He 
here's my plate, guys. With a little happy face, kind of happy face. <laughs> I'm gonna sit and get my hot dog out. See, this is how I like my dog. Not burnt. But a little on the crisp side. Alexa, stop. So guys, this is my dinner. This is what's for dinner tonight. Not gourmet, but you know what? It's a good dinner. Hot dog, bruschetta, a little mac and cheese with bacon, and a hot dog. I just said that already. All right, let me taste it for you. Okay, I'm gonna taste a little bit of the bruschetta. Mmm, that's so good. Salt. That's very good. It's fresh. You know? What's it out? Let's try a little piece of the hot dog. And when I say little, I mean little. Mm. Mm. Really good. Um, a little bit of the mac and cheese. Very delicious. Everything is really good. Alright guys, so I'm going to go eat my dinner. I want to really heat this up a little bit, but then the bruschetta is going to get cold, get hot. So, it is what it is. I eat cold food half the time anyway because I have to wait. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this What's for Dinner video. Don't forget to um, subscribe because when you subscribe, you really help my channel grow. And I so, so appreciate all of you. Don't forget to hit that notification button with that bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like and share and comment down below. And thank you so much for coming into my kitchen with me and creating in my home. I love you guys. And if you just want to show a little bit of appreciation and a thank you for, for my videos that if you like them, there's a little thank you button at the bottom there. <laughs> under the video no obligation i'm not asking for anything but if you want to thank me just hit the little thank you <laughs> okay guys all right guys i hope you're having a great day i'll see you on the next video we're gonna go eat bye